Hey guys, DB right here, and today this basically is a continuation of some of the skate tutorials I've been posting on here recently. And today I want I just want to talk about sk skate progression, your um, overall progression as a skater. Now, personally, I think um, the idea of you're only progressing when you um, successfully land that trick you've been working on for 10 days straight for hours on end, non-stop, not doing anything else ever. I, while, yes, that is progression, I'm not going to say it's not progression, but it's not how I define progression. It's not how, well, quite frankly, in my opinion, any skater, especially beginners, should be um, taking as progression. I prefer to feel that I'm progressing because of my all-round skills on a skateboard such as riding around, being able to kick turn all the fundamentals as well as um, doing all the things, doing all the fun things you can do with the fundamentals such as skating up and down banks and um, other little obstacles you can find just riding around which brings me to my point that I think the best way to progress is simply, yeah, riding around on your skateboard. Now, I'm not saying don't practice tricks. You know, don't don't be a fool. I mean, after all, I practice tricks. Every every skater does, but don't just obsess over getting those um, advanced tricks down. Spend time on your board, ride around, ride to the shops, practice those um, fundamentals. Practice those kick turns. Um, if you find a nice um, steepish driveway that kind of that kind of resembles a skateboard, a, a bank at a skate park, you know, ro roll up it and do some kick turns down it. That's what I've been doing lately, and I've been having a lot of fun doing so and opening and learning some tricks that came from um, fundamental tricks you know from from kick turns and then learning how to kick turn how to do 180 kick turns and actually doing 360 spins and things like that Skip, skipping over those can actually mean that you guys are actually missing out on a lot of fun and um, that's the whole point of skateboarding and to me one of the things that can really hurt a skater's progression is um let's say you're a brand new skater, you buy your board and the first thing you start doing is trying to learn how to ollie. You're, you're trying that every day. You're not skating you're not skating around learning the fundamentals, you're just ollieing, ollieing and ollieing away, but not getting anywhere. And then you're frustrated, you put the skateboard in the corner of your room and you never skate again. And you know that's bad, that's wrong. Because I can tell you, when it comes to skateboarding on a skateboard, it's it's nearly impossible to get board skating. There are so many things you can do with it. Like I said, you can ride around, you can go down some hills, and um, you can practice all those fundamentals to build up overall comfort with your skateboard. And um, you can start you can start on freestyle tricks which will also help with building comfort on your skateboard and um, so on and so forth you don't have to obsess with getting ollie based tricks down when there's so much more stuff you could learn and experiment with and have a lot of fun with and progress your like I said your all around skills your, your overall skill okay so you might not be able to beat that other kid in a game of skate when he's um, using ollie based tricks but you'll have better control than he does now I'm not saying never practice tricks I mean don't be silly everyone practice tri practices tricks including myself it's just a matter of keeping it at that fun level and be proud when you when you progress overall so say you are practicing a trick don't throw a tantrum. Don't throw a tantrum if you're not land if you're not landing them. 
which I know can be a bit difficult to do, but appreciate the little bits of progress you're making on that trick, trick each time. So maybe you're not landing the ollie yet, but maybe, you, maybe you're popping the, the board better. Maybe you're popping the board better and sending the board up higher. You know, be proud of that. That's still progression. So you see what I mean by progression? Like, I, I used to get frustrated because I couldn't even do a shove it. You know, and quite frankly, I still can't. I still have a lot of trouble landing my, um, landing the foot that does the rotation for a shove it back on the board. Sometimes it um, rotates and lands right in front of me, and then I've got to step back on it. And you know, that's and that's fine. You can still I can still have fun doing a shove it like that down a bank. The fact is, I'm proud of the progress I've made to even get to that point. I'm proud that I was able to get the rotation down, get used to rotating it. You know, my my body and mind are going to help me land that trick properly one day and probably every every try when my body and mind feel ready to because you know they tell you all the time skateboarding you know it's all muscle memory and development and tricks like that and I including the ollie especially the ollie take time take take a lot of time it, it took it's taken me a year just to start leveling out my ollies and that was only recently. <laughs> and um, so, so that's basically my point. Definitely try your tricks. Don't get frustrated and just be proud. Just be proud because every, every time you're trying them, you are making little bits of progression. Every day you try, you're probably ollieing that. You're probably popping the board better. Maybe you're getting that sliding your foot up to the to the nose down. Whatever it is, whatever trick it is you're trying. And um, yes, and if you are starting to get that little bit frustrated, stop what you're doing, get on your board and start riding. Start riding, get back to work on some fundamentals, some kick turns, start practicing lifting up your trucks over some cracks and things. Very important skill to have, especially for... Um, not falling off for starters and it's the first step to learning manuals so anyways that's my little talk about progression so now I'm gonna get my board I'm gonna ride around a little bit I'm gonna do some some little some little things that you guys can start working on while you're riding some little tricks little fun tricks that you can do that I think are beginner level that you can start working on and even if I mess them up on this video you, you'll still be able to tell what I'm going for and like I said you know even if you mess up these tricks a bunch of times just remember you're progressing you're learning ha you know enjoy the um, enjoy the journey not the destination all right, so without further ado, let's um, get into this. I still can't edit these videos, so I've got to try not to make any mistakes here. By mistake, I mean falling over and embarrassing myself on camera. Because if I do, you guys get to see it. <laughs> See what I was doing there? All I was doing was practicing lifting my trucks up. Very important skill. And um, if you find a footpath with um, some cracks in it or some little gaps, definitely practice lifting your trucks over that. For starters, that'll help you not fall if you if you hit one that's sort of up like a like a miniature curb. And um, 
It's actually quite addicting and fun. <laughs> I make a game out of it, see how many I can um, lift up over at a time before my board stops. And um, it will be useful later for, for learning manuals and also for writing off curbs later. Going for a 360 there. Did it yesterday. Obviously, I need more practice with them. See? Yeah. Even I'm not perfect. Nor that I ever claim to be. sort of a mini manual I did there. You could start working on manuals where you lift up the trucks longer. Try hold it as long as you can. Very good, good at those. But basically, space looks basically a manual where you do this sort of thing. You keep swinging and try and keep it up as long as you can. Practice popping your board. I don't know if the camera caught that, I'll, I'll do it again just in case. But yeah, you can practice just riding around and popping your board. Maybe do a little. Maybe doing little rocket ollies. No, we're really worrying about getting the full ollie in that. You're just working on the pop. If you're lucky, you get a little bounce like this. Even that, you know, that's a trick even in, a, in itself. And perhaps we can even work on the look back, which 
probably going to want the camera looking over here. As you can see, I need a lot of work on that, but that's basically called the look back. I'll show you it's stationary. So, riding along, the back foot is supposed to slide to about here. You step off with your front foot and you try and slide and follow your foot along with the board until you get back on it, switch. The wrong way, switch. Which, I've only been practicing these a couple of days. So as you can see, I still got a lot of work to get it smooth. I'll do it again, see if I can get it smoother. That was obviously a little too fast for me. Try to full speed. Basically that, that's the smoothest I'm going to be able to get. So yeah, don't do what I just did, try to go flat out like that, go slow. As you can see, I couldn't exactly get my foot to slide all the way where I should, I was like way up front. But, this goes to show, I'm still working on it myself. Except you're supposed to keep rolling. But even that's, hey, that's progress. That was the smoothest one, I think, and I'll do keep rolling. Wait, there was one more I wanted to show.
tailspin. But try not to let your back foot hit the ground if you can help it. So you cruise, stop, practice just once you get practice at tail stopping. And then 180 tail spin. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna leave you for one more. This is sort of a modified boneless I like to do. So I can't quite boneless properly, and my ollies aren't quite there yet. on the tail, hands on me, and except you're supposed to get this. <coughs> As you can see it's kind of like a boneless. the obstacle, that's a fail. One more time. Now to me, might not be as stylish as a proper boneless, but to me it gets the job done, gets me over obstacles, gets me on top of curbs. I mean personally I don't think it's really a bad alternative. Like beginner beginner boneless. Which yeah, it's like, you know, me me getting a little creative. Um yeah. So, here are my final thoughts to the video. So as you can see, we did a lot of fundamental stuff, and I did try to throw a few more challenging things in there at the end, things you can practice while riding. You know, you come up to a curb, you know, you can do that last trick up a curb and once you got that you're conquering obstacles nothing's gonna stop you from cruising none of this stopping and then grabbing your board and then walking up the curb nah 
Just a quick tail stop, nose grab, and a jump. Jump back in the tail stall and plant. There you go. <laughs> As far as I, as far as I know, I, I'm not sure anyone else um, boneless is like that. I think that's just me. And you know what? It works for me. All right. So my final thoughts is we we've talked about progression, things like that, and I've hopefully given you some ideas of what you can practice while you're riding. And um, the other thing I want to say is. Um, Definitely skate at your own pace too. Don't. This this sort of comes into what I was saying before about over practicing a trick. But the same goes for um, over riding as well, and you know, buggering up your legs up and becoming so sore you can't skate tomorrow or the next day and and whatnot. Definitely pace yourself. Like me, I can only maybe cruise for about ten minutes straight, ten to fifteen minutes straight, twenty minutes tops, before I got a put the board down, find a seat somewhere, and sit down. And the same goes when I'm doing tricks as well. And I'll take 10 to 20 minutes, 5 to 10 to maybe even 20 minutes of rest, and then I'll get back on the board again and keep working on doing that. I find if you, if you pace yourself, you'll actually progress more in less time. Because you're taking that step back, you're taking a moment to reflect what you've done so far. Maybe think about what you want to try next, or do next. Something you want to brush up on for the next um, 10 to 20 minutes of your skate when you get back on the board. Or maybe you do want to just have a bit of a cruise around, go down some hill and let that air hit your face. The wind in your hair. You know, I actually feel... A lot more better about myself when I'm pacing myself and just re really getting the most out of my skate session rather than working on the same thing tirelessly warning myself out that um, to the point that I can't continue that I'm taking a week off of the board because I gave myself Achilles tendonitis or something which I've done before and that's because I was overdoing it so definitely pace yourself, especially when you're first starting, when you're a beginner. So maybe start at 10 minutes, take a break, and then go another 10 minutes. Once you're, once any um, muscle pains in your, in your legs subside, or any of that. And if you definitely are getting really sore and it's starting to um, concern you, yeah, definitely, definitely take some time off if you need it so there we go and there we go that is my video on skate progression I hope you guys got something out of it at least and hopefully you'll keep doing keep going you know even I still fall sometimes yeah look at that that was from a fall today actually literally five minutes before I made this video and that's because I went over a crack, a crack um, that um, I didn't see and threw me off. Alright, so I'm going to go now and I'm going to finish up the rest of my session and I'll see you guys again next time. Catch you later.